ويتشكن سورة إن القرآن. سنريهم آياتنا في الآفاق وفي أنفسهم حتى يتبين لهم أنه الحق أولم يكف بربك أنه على كل شيء شهيد Muhammad was a very ordinary man. He couldn't have read, didn't know to write. In fact, he was a illiterate. And uh, we're talking about 1,200 years ago, you have someone, an illiterate person, making profound pronouncements and statements that um, are amazingly accurate of a scientific nature. And. Uh, I don't, I personally can't see how this could be a mere chance. There are too many accuracies. And like Dr. Moore, I have no difficulty in my mind reconciling that this is a divine inspiration or revelation um, which led him to these statements. Summary, the Quran describes not only the development of external form, but emphasizes also the internal stages, the stages inside the embryo of its creation and development, emphasizing major events recognized by contemporary science. Thank you for your attention. Uh, as a scientist, I can only deal with things which I can specifically see. Uh, I can understand embryology and developmental biology. Uh, I can understand the words that are translated to me from the uh, As I gave the example before, uh, if I were to transpose myself into that era, knowing what I do today and describing things, I could not describe the things which uh, were described. Uh, I see no reason, uh, I see no evidence for the fact uh, to refute the concept uh, that uh, this individual, Muhammad, had to be developing this information from someplace. Uh, so I see nothing here in conflict with the concept that uh, divine intervention was involved in, in what he was able Actually, I'm very much impressed by finding true astronomical facts in Quran. And for us, we modern astronomers have been studying very small fields of the universe. We concentrated our efforts to, for understanding of very small part because by using telescope we can see only a very few part of the sky without thinking whole the universe. So uh, by reading Quran and by answering to your questions I think I can find my future way for investigation of the universe. In a relatively few ayah is contained a rather comprehensive description of human development from the time of commingling of the gametes 
through organogenesis. No such distinct and complete record of human development, such as classification, terminology, and description, existed previously. In most, if not all, instances, this description antedates, by many centuries, the recording of the various stages in embryonic and fetal development recorded in the traditional scientific literature. Thinking of many of these questions and thinking uh, where Mohammed came from, he was after all a Bedouin. I think it is almost impossible that he could have known about things like the common uni uh, origin of the universe because scientists have only found out within the last few years with very complicated and advanced technological methods that this is the case. Somebody who did not know something about nuclear physics 1400 years ago could not, I think, be in a position to find out from his own mind, for instance, that the earth and the heavens had the same origin or many other of the questions that we have discussed here.